it's loaded. Okay, so what are we doing here? Are we hosting a collage making session? Or is that just for added effect? I swear we're doing news and interviews. What about those online exhibitions and galleries too? We are. Welcome to the Culture Club. I'm your host, Kimberly. And we're here to have a chat. So, you know what to do. Shall we get into it? Go on then. Okay, hi everyone and um, welcome to the artist interview. We have Afram with us today and um, we're joining um, you this evening. Um, thank you so much for, for being here today. I'm really, really happy to have you on. Hi, hi everyone. I'm very happy to be talking to you because with the lockdown, I don't have any chances to, to talk to people, I'm afraid. Same, yeah, same. I'm, I'm really happy that um, we're, we're doing these things and, and, and interacting so much more yeah. on, on um, different platforms. Um, we've known each other um, through different projects and, and work and things um, and you are an artist and um, I would love you to introduce yourself um, to the viewers and to find out who you are and what you do. Yes, definitely. Um, I'm Aparan. I, uh, I am a curator, uh, an artist and a muralist. I also am a teacher. So I could say that I'm a little bit a multidisciplinary artist, and um, and I I like I enjoy painting, um, illustrating as well. Mm. But I think what I like the most is uh, painting murals uh, mm. in the in the street uh, outside. It's quite nice, especially if the weather is nice. And um, yes, but it's also very exciting to create um, shows. Um, I run a collective called Art House Projects London and it's um, very exciting to get to know the artist and show the work. Mm. And you've done quite a few open calls recently and you've yes. been doing, you've been really busy in lockdown and I think the most recent one was um, to do something on the spray cans, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Do you um, want to tell us about that project? Yes, because um, during the um, pandemic, so we have to move everything online. And so we have done uh, three art shows uh, under the name of um, Art Against the Coronavirus. Mm -hmm. and, and, but this one, this, this, this is going to be the fourth one. It's a little bit different one. And it's called Shake It. And it's kind of like a tribute to the spray can because the spray can is one of the um, instruments that street artists use. And um, so, yes, it's very exciting and there are a lot of submissions and the submissions are closing today yeah. and uh, there are artists from around the world and um, most of the, the majority of them, they are street artists mm -hmm. and the show is going to start on the 15th. So it's going to be running for, for a month, 15th of January, and it's going to be in our online um, web page. Okay, so the... 15th of January or February? February. February. 15th of February is when the exhibition opens and it's going to be online for one month. Yes. <laughs> Fabulous. I am going to be there. And um, am I right in guessing that you are going to be doing one of your um, really exciting Instagram lives when the launch happens? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. If the artists want to, of course I will. I mean, it's very fun to, to have the artists come in and, and talking about the work, about mm -hmm. the inspiration. And uh, some of them might be showing the faces some of them want. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it's just something very fun to do, especially during the lockdown. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. So um, if no one was familiar with your work, how would you like to introduce them to your your style and some of the meanings behind your work? Yes, um, I'm a little bit shy about talking um, about my work, I, I would mm -hmm. say. 
Um, mm. I love talking about other people's work. Uh, <laughs> but when, when it comes to talk about my, my work, I'm a little bit shy. But I would say that um, I normally um, like painting different things. I like painting mostly women. And mm. the message um, underneath my work will be things like it could be men in many different messages it won't uh, always relate to to women it could relate to, even to men um mm -hmm. and the messages could be political could be uh, personal or could be um happy or could be sad mm -hmm. um it could be things related to environment uh, when the lockdown started i started to paint things related to environment colorful it was summer as well mm -hmm. i used to go a lot into nature um and and now i'm i'm more like um, depicting feelings different feelings uh, sometimes happy feelings sometimes things that i want to communicate to people like for example my last pieces mm -hmm. they are about unity and keeping together mm -hmm. and uh giving a message of like you are not alone and um, so that's why now I'm surrounding with women, as you can see here behind me. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, yeah, really, really nice. Something that I have always thought your work is very empowering from a, fe from a female's perspective, not just because you um, draw the females, but one of the first pieces that I had ever seen of yours was the silhouette. You had mm -hmm. the the, the trio and it was the the heart with the watercolors um kind of flushing down and it was the silhouettes I found very they were moving because they were so simple but there was so much emotion in them and it was really really lovely um and then I've I've met you in person you know probably a year later um so it was really nice you know to be able to put um, the work and the person, you know, together. It's lovely. How do you find that um, you're inspired by, by some of um, your, your pieces? I mean, has that changed over the years? Uh, yes, I think it's uh, constantly changing. Um, I do, uh, for example, sometimes I get fixated with parts of the body, not only like I'm going to depict a woman, but sometimes I just focus on one part. It mm. could be from the outside, it could be from the inside, it could be organs. I like also focusing on one thing and mm. then I get fixated and it's, then mm. it's going to be like uh, the anatomic heart or so hands or so eyes. So, you know, I quite like um, anatomy. And also because I, I studied life drawing, so I think that's the um, the anatomy and all the studies that I did. They they are always behind my work. Mm. And um, but yes, the inspiration changes because because it all depends on the moods and the messages mm. I wanted to transmit. I yeah. I wanted to always do things like they are happy, but sometimes mm. it doesn't happen. So yeah. 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 I did a piece during the when I was having um, COVID, so mm -hmm. so the space is not That's... really that like the happiest. No, of course, yeah. And yes. have you found that some of your um, some of your personal time in lockdown? Do you find that your experiences with other media's? So music or film, do you find that that has inspired the new direction of your work too? Sometimes, sometimes. Um, I really enjoy during the lockdown, especially the first lockdown, that there was this boom of uh, doing lives. And I used to watch a lot of lives like by DJs mm. and bands. And there were a lot of the, a lot of them, and then I saw your watch party as well. So I do really like that, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's important because um, although we cannot be uh, showing our work uh, in the traditional way, we've mm -hmm. got all of this technology that we can use, mm -hmm. and uh, and we are learning to use every day. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> to show our work is true, like. Mm, it might not be accessible for everyone, mm 
not everyone might have the, the same access to technology, but I think uh, little by little we are really becoming very technology uh, literate, mm -hmm. I would say, and more people they are looking at art online. And mm -hmm. I read some statistics the, the other day for mm -hmm. for some projects I'm doing, and it says like a thirty percent of the people in Britain they are now going more online to check out art and artists. Mm. Yeah, I, I can well believe that. And it's really, I think it's really positive because we both know, you know, the detrimental effect that the pandemic has had on the creative arts and also just our accessibility to, you know, our instruments, like you said, you know, for people's um, spray paints and their, their, their locations and different, you know, their galleries, everything like that. So it's really good to see a positive change and, a, and an increase in things like that. Um, do you do you think that um, you have increased your um, submissions to online galleries or um, how, have you, how have you gone about that? Yes, um, yes, I'm submitting um, work for online um, shows group shows i like uh, taking part in group shows rather than doing solo shows yeah I, i've only done a solo show and I, i'm i was supposed to be doing another one last year but after what happened oh, it couldn't be yeah. but i really enjoy um doing collective shows because it's about like meeting other people i'm very social but now with it with these um, there are other ways of being social as well and um, there's a lot of online shows mm -hmm. coming up mm -hmm. and I've been taking part in a few of them and uh, yes very exciting but not only um, online shows um, also different projects like, mm -hmm. like uh, on the long run and having the time to work on uh, projects for I don't know for arts councils or mm -hmm. you know that, that now that I have the time well mm -hmm. I've got the time to do all the paperwork yeah. and to design something a little bit yeah. like bigger complex yeah. yeah that's lovely that's really nice is there anything that you're allowed to tell us about uh is is um there are projects all that are taking into account uh, the fact that we are in a pandemic, uh -huh. uh, social distancing, uh -huh. and um, which is something that that is very well looked mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. uh, because we don't really know the the how long we are going to be in this case in this exactly. thing. Mm -hmm. And they are all uh, projects involving. Um, a number a numbers of artists no mm -hmm. they're not personal projects they're always like integrated in the, yeah. the art house project as a collective yeah and um and yes just trying to promote artists in different ways in the, different ways of showing the work yeah fabulous that's really really brilliant um but more about um i'm really i'm really interested i know that you you maybe don't want to talk specifically about your work. We won't, we won't, go, we won't go into too much. But I'm really, no, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm, yes, really I do, I do. I'm really interested just to find out maybe about different things that you have been inspired by kind of over the years. You mentioned about the anatomy. Um, um, what else? I mean, what what else have you have you found is really giving you a push? Um, I think, it, to be honest, I've been experimenting the push uh, during the, during this time because right. now, uh, before I was between classes and lessons, and because I'm a teacher, I didn't yeah. really have that much time to develop something fully and in depth. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew what I liked, but I didn't have time to practice. So during this time, mm -hmm. I've been trying to develop like a, 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 a style, experimenting mm -hmm. with with resources, but mm -hmm. developing a style as well. And um, and I think I feel very inspired by nature and freedom and uh, values in, in themselves, because I think that very, it's very important to see to, to look at painting and see values behind it mm -hmm. like 
Um, now, I think, um, you know, I started a series called Unity and it's about female sisterhood mm -hmm. and supporting each other which is very important. But then I thought, uh, it's not only about female because okay. yes, okay, there are women there, but it, it could be also about brotherhood. Why not? It's important yeah. to be together. And so now that my la my latest one, which is a diptych, um, mm -hmm. it's it's more like, like being together. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if we are women or, or men, mm -hmm. you know, and the feeling that you are not alone because now, it's like I'm starting to think a lot about mental health. Yeah. Uh, and I see people around me that they've been affected by that. Mm -hmm. And um, and um, I, I keep on, you know, always, you know, reaching out. Yeah. And, uh, and that also influences my work, I think, at the moment. Yeah. That's really powerful. Um, very, very powerful kind of aspects of, of inspiration. Um, the, the next um, thing that we are going to be doing in yeah. Arthur's project, like physically, mm. would be a show on mental health. Wow. And we're just waiting for the lockdown to, to, to finish and allow people to go and visit spaces and, and galleries. And yeah. we've got a space where we're going to be doing a show calling uh, Going Through. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about going through bad times like going through uh, mental health problems mm. i find it um somewhat comforting to know that people are becoming more um at ease with talking about mental health um because i think before the lockdown perhaps there might have been a bit of an undertone of a stigma if you were dealing with it but I think it's really interesting now because people were on the premise of loneliness or dealing with depression or seasonal affective as well because we've been through that during the lockdown mm -hmm. period I think it's really interesting to, um, to see that people have really taken um, uh how can i say uh yeah they, they've found more confidence within themselves to be able to talk about it because they know that dealing with it they are not alone because there are millions billions of people across the world who are going through uh, you know the same um lockdown the same quarantine and isolation so naturally the the symptoms and the triggers are going to be very similar too um I, I would definitely um, say that um, seeing um, the artwork and having the artwork ignite a new conversation will be really interesting um, for people, you know, once once the show happens. Um, yes. It'll be really great to see um, what the artists themselves um, showcase as well. It'll be really, really great. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's going to be a, a small uh, show, mm. but um, it's interesting because the pieces are not really sad pieces. Some mm. of them are serious, sad, dark, but they are also the, um, pieces that transmit a, a positive message, you know, mm. like um, overcoming, um, yeah. um, being together. And uh, yeah. it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite nice, the submissions, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, that's ultimately what we we have to be persistent, don't we? We have to be persistent, have that resilience, and really try and kind of push forward, knowing that these challenges or states of adversity are not permanent. Um, so it's really lovely to know that you're going to have those messages in um, in the artworks through the show. Um, what else? Do we have uh, to look forward to coming from you? Have you got any other public pieces that we might see around in the near future? Um, <laughs> yes, definitely. They're always public pieces. I know, yeah. Uh, well, I've got several projects. They're not materialized yet, mm. but um, I might be doing, actually, by the way, an, another project in Ilford. Hey. And um, yes, uh, it's very exciting, uh -huh. and it's, it's a charity one. 
in okay. a in a charity. So Brilliant. hopefully, yeah, we'll be transforming. Oh, it's always transforming and building. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Are you um? Is it? I yeah. I'll ask you later. <laughs> I'll ask you later who that might be. But no, it, I mean, if it's who I think it is, then great. That's really great. I mean, I technically it's on my on the doorstep of my old house, so I like it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No, it's really yeah. It'd be great to to find out some more about that. Um, but I mean. Obviously, we're getting to know you um, and people are going to come across this and, and find out who you are. If they were to go on the hunt for some of your existing work that's out mm -hmm. there, um, where would you um, direct them to go if they were in London? Um, to see my work, uh, I've got pieces in it for, as you know, that it was uh, commissioned by a project that you were running. Yeah. And uh, also mostly East London, North East London, mm -hmm. um, Shoreditch, um, I have murals and also because I'm a space tap artist, I love space taps. Um, so you can see some around uh, Brick Lane. Um, there, I've got some mirrors, but all scattered around London, mm. um, but mostly North London. I, I've made a lot of shutters. Um, this week I started to think that I'm a specialist in shutters because I've painted a lot of them in yes. different buildings, sometimes motifs that I chose, sometimes other motifs that, you know, commissioned by, by, the, by the clients. Uh, and um, but but yes, many shutters and some walls around them. And yes, excellent, excellent. That's really really good to know. And all of your um, images are usually on your social media and your Instagram. Yes. Where can where can excuse me? Where can people find you? Um, yes, um, Aparan with double P in Instagram, in Facebook as well, Aparan mm -hmm. Art, double P, my email is Aparan, everything is Aparan, and also my webpage is Aparan.com, and okay. I've got a shop as well in there, and so you can browse uh, um, my pieces, and they're different, uh, you know, they're affordable pieces, different prices, and different techniques as well. Amazing. So yeah, go and have a look. Amazing, I will, I will put all of that in the description below. Um, and if anybody wanted to find out more about the collective, can they can they also do that? Yes, Artas Project London has a web page. Yeah. Um, it's, it's up to date with all the events that we are doing. Um, there's an online show that's going to be coming, the new online show Shake It from the 15th of February. <laughs> Brilliant. And, uh, and uh, yes, and we have also an online uh, shop with uh, pieces um, of the or by the artists that they are members of uh, our collective as well. Amazing! Thank you so much. I'm Thank really, you. I'm really, really happy that you've come on and you've got so much going on, and it's always so exciting. <laughs> um, and I'm yeah, can't wait to see the show, um, and hopefully um, learn more about what you'll be doing in the future as well. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank thanks you so for, much for having me and uh, thank you everyone for listening. Thanks everyone. See you soon. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>